Hi there, do you wanna exclude specific pages or posts in your WordPress search? Well, we've got a plugin for you. It's called Search Exclude. Now there was a plugin on WordPress.org called Search Exclude from a company called Quad Layers. Now, recently people have been commenting on that saying, hey, this is all filled with bloatware and advertising. So I didn't wanna put bloatware and advertising on my client websites. What did I do? I forked the plugin. I put it inside a GitHub repo that you can access below. I've also put it on my website as a free product to download and install. Now there isn't any support with this. So if you need support, keep that in mind, but you can get access to the code. So that means if you do wanna to go to Codable or anything like that to get support, you can. But before we go any further, we better make sure it's gonna work for you on your website. So let's jump on into the screencast and I'll show you exactly how this works and how you can use it on your website to hide pages from the WordPress search. Okay, so here's the search exclude plugin that I forked. Um, you can see here the screenshots are a little bit old. It has been kept up to date though. So I noticed that it was updated a week ago. Um, but when I looked at the ratings here, uh, what I noticed is the only recent good rating in the past sort of seven months has been, it's good, but hoping it could be better. Secondly, there was a lot of this stuff on bloatware. So you can see that there was bloatware after buyout. So I said avoid and uninstall. And I thought the way this plugin works is quite good. So I thought, okay, I need to go and fix this. So let's take a look at a site here. We've got a staging site and I'm gonna show you how this works. So when we do a normal search, so let's just say I search for, you know, uh, we'll just say pricing. Go ahead and run through the search so I get the default search up here. And here we can see all these different pages and it's showing drafts because I'm logged in, okay? Now, what I wanna be able to do is hide some of these pages. So if I go from here, I'll open up a new tab on the dashboard now we've got this exclusive accelerator offer right here and the homepage. Both of those, I don't want people to see it when they search for pricing or anything for that matter. So I go over to pages, to all pages. And now that the plugin is installed, I've got this search excluded, visible or hidden. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So I said, I searched for pricing. And I've got this exclusive off accelerator offer. So if I go and find that, I can see this here, the exclusive accelerator offer, I can see it's visible. I can do a quick edit now and say exclude from search results, update like that. That goes ahead and updates that option. Now, if I just refresh the search that I had before, just by simply refreshing the page, that page is now hidden. And of course we can see in the column, it says hidden. If I go ahead and edit the page, this opens up the editor. And now in the sidebar, I have a new area called search exclude. And this says exclude from search results. So checking that on and off does the same thing. Then we also have another area under settings called MRK search exclude. If I click on that and open it up, I can see that I've excluded the blog and the exclusive accelerator offer. So this shows you all pages here that would be excluded. Now this works for anything. So I've got a custom post type of products here. So we can see that because I've got that, I have the search excluded item there with the visible and hidden there too. I can also go to posts and the search exclude is there also. So if you want to hide a specific blog post or something like that, you could also do that. Um, and it's really quite simple to use. So all you do is go and download the plugin from my website um, or you can download it from GitHub and then you upload it and it'll show up here, the MRK search exclude item. And it just that just says that, you know, we cloned it from search exclude plugin by quad layers. Now, because we did clone the search exclude plugin, if you happen to have that and you want to get rid of that bloatware, but like the features, you can simply install our plugin over the top and everything should remain the same. We've got the same option name. It all functions exactly the same way. It's just that we forked it so you don't get that bloatware. So I hope you find that useful and yeah, enjoy excluding pages from 
using our plugin that's free for anyone to use. Okay, well, I hope you liked that video and I hope the plugin is useful for you when it comes to excluding pages from your WordPress search. Now, if you've got any questions at all, by all means, leave a comment below. Let me know how you want your search to work with WordPress, or maybe you've got some other idea and you'd like me to make a video about that. Of course, like and subscribe if you like this kind of content, and I hope to see you in the next video.